putting overnight my chocolates it become hardened so what I did I I cut that one into pieces and I put it in the bowl and after that one the next step we're going to melt this one into the microwave for at least maybe uh, three to four minutes but every 30 seconds we have to stir it to avoid burning inside so after that one I also cut some some other um, already tempered chocolate as you can see here this one is I'm gonna use is for seeding after my um, after melting my chocolate of this okay let's let's go as you can see now my chocolate is melt so this one is not really so fine like the one that you get in the supermarket or the one that um, this normally sell in in the nice chocolate shop so because this one is a homemade so I'm not really going to wait for too long with that uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the the tempered chocolate that I got this one I bought in the shop uh, as you can see um, you can see that is it's tempered because it's really nice got no no bloom so I'm just going to add this one here to help it tempered because I don't want the bloom on my chocolate because uh, it doesn't really affect the flavor but I don't like the the ugliness color on my chocolate so what I do I just carry on uh, doing this one until it melt and then I'm gonna show you to you soon what is the the tempered chocolate as you can see now it's perfect and the color is also beautiful now we have now a chocolate so what we're gonna do now is um, we're going to to make some taster okay just to see if this one um, is perfectly tempered so I'm looking for about 30 31c to 32c so let's wait for a little bit Okay, so now you can see is the the color of um, my chocolate is now really beautiful, as you can see. Um, it changed, and I think uh, I get it right because you, as you can see now, my tester is something and uh, get a nice and glossy. I made even on the back. You see, you can see it. There is no bloom or um, it's just perfect. So now what we're gonna do is put that one into my mold okay so here's my mold I'm gonna pour this one slowly slowly on on my mold I'm looking for about let me see okay just a little bit more and here to a little bit more okay and here too okay just wait I think the other one is too much I'm gonna remove that soon um, just wait I'm looking for a tree I think I got only about four, good for five, which is good enough. So what we're gonna do is work on that 
just wait I don't want to scratch my table so here we just do like that all the way all right so I think um, I'm done and we're gonna just leave this one into the room temperature until it, it dry some people normally uh, you can put this one like an overnight in the room temperature for the quicker one you can also put this one into uh, the fridge for about a second or up to four minutes but you have to take it out quickly because it's not really good to leave it there so yeah okay the moment of truth i'm so excited with this okay now we're going to tip it up so we're gonna see how it looks beautiful is this okay so i got some pla uh, on a paper here but i do i just put it there like that eee, so lovely see now you see now you, you got an a beautiful um dark chocolate okay let's see the another one i'm so excited with this okay put that one there so this one too i'm going to put it up like that because i'm i don't want to get dirty so keep it up like that yeah see hey that's also beautiful now you can see now you can see that I got an a beautiful bar of chocolate okay now you can see it's beautiful even my dog is smelling too good you know uh, my dog loves the chocolate and he's the one when 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 you eat a chocolate he's always there next to you because of he's so addicted with the chocolate so we will say no to the chocolate okay so that's wonderful so now you learn about how to make any chocolate i hope that this is a video um it helps so if you think that this one is it is a really good one um, please send an feedback in the comment below. Thank you.